welcome back to the garden pit. Yeah, today we're going to be transplanting my uh, brassica plants there. I got uh, 10 different brassicas I got to transplant. That's, I'm going to probably do a six pack of each. I got a bunch of plants growing in there, so I got prime pickings on what's in there. So I'm going to get ready to give you the lowdown. A little show and tell uh, what I... What I have grown so far, a little update there. So right, hold on for a little show and tell. Uh, the first three is going to be uh, broccolis. And this first one here, this is the uh, Coronado. And some prime plants in there. It's a shame to waste all them, but that's, that's what we do. Uh, this next one's the uh, green sprouting sprouting calabrese. Yeah, they look look a little leggy. I don't understand why they got a little leggy like that. I had the light right on top of them, but we'll fix that. This next one's the Romanesco. All right, now we're going into the cabbage. This is the uh, 325SSX. This is the uh, Swinton. This is the one, uh, some of the seed I got from the guy in the Netherlands that traded for some pepper seeds. And now we're going into cauliflower. This is the Candid Charm. And this is the Summer Harvest. Next word, we have the uh, unnamed Brussels Sprout. That's from the guy in the Netherlands. They're growing real nice. And uh, the final two is uh, kale. This is the one I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Uh, the other name for it is uh, dinosaur kale. And the final one this is from the Netherlands too. This is called Reflex. I'm hoping I translate this stuff right. <clears throat> we'll see when it when it grows out. Next, I'm going to show you how I transplant them into six packs. All right, time to plant. Got my pot marked here or six pack. Got it written down on my paper there. Makes it a lot easier doing it that way instead of messing with tags and things. Because uh, I'll reuse these every year as long as they stay intact there. You know, the, these things don't uh, last a whole lot of time. But, you know, I'll reuse them as long as they're good. Alright. Let's get the uh, plants unearthed. These are a little moist, not not too much. Got a nice, uh, got a nice uh, ro uh, root mass growing on. You know, a lot, lot uh, more than the onions. I don't know if you could see it. They like said they're a little leggy, but we'll take care of that. Yeah, these will take a little longer to to. Uh, Get a lot loose here because it's a little more moist than I like it. But I got some plants you got to watch it, and you don't want you don't want them uh, stressed out too much when you're getting ready to transplant them. The onions could handle it. These are a little more delicate than the onions. And it's just trying to loosen it, trying not to. Try not to bust the uh, roots up too bad there. You, know, you don't have to worry about 
transplant shock too much when you're doing it indoors there because it's you know it's just that uh, artificial light and it's not real hot and it's cool down here anyway it's uh, soil soil is really cool to the touch let's see if I can get one out of there yeah, it's coming right out of there Yeah, they're coming right out now. Now I'll do all this here, then I'll come up, come back and uh, shade the plant, planting in the six pack part of the deal here. All right, you got it all separated. <clears throat> uh, like I commented on my video last time, I didn't say anything, didn't say anything, but I didn't think about it. At the time, but uh, I sprayed the uh, ended up spraying the roots, you know, with some water. This is uh, dechlorinated water, of course. You know, keep them a little moist so they don't uh, dry out and everything. But anyway, uh, we're ready to plant. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do it similar to we uh, the way we did it with the uh, onions there. Get the old pencil out and. Put a hole in there all the way to the bottom, and you know try to make a nice size hole because we got some roots on these plants. Now this is now this is why I like doing this because I like to select the strongest, mo more mo can't even talk, most robust plants out of out of the uh, bunch here. Say uh, I have this plant here. nice size plant got a nice root system then you see he picked this plant out of there look at the, look at the difference in the, in these two plants what you know which plant would you rather plant you know this plant's going to get more nourishment and grow faster cuz it's got a, such a nice root system that's why i like doing it this way i can pick the best now, like I said, these things are a little laggy. You see how light and laggy it is. Uh, I'll just put it down in the hole here. I'll use the pencil again to help get the roots in the hole. You can use when to get it that far. You can use the eraser in and help get it down. See, it don't, it's not going to hurt this plant because I'm planting it a lot deeper than it was growing. I do I do this every year and it works fine. I don't have any problems, except when you get these damn wood in the seed starter. You can't grow on the wood. What's wrong with these people? One more saw over there. And that's how you that's how you do it, man. You get the pencil in and wiggle it, make it hole a little bigger than you did with the uh onions. And you just select yourself a nice plant. Look at the root on that thing. Can you see it? Like the little extra on there. Yeah. But still it's that root's probably a good four inches long on there. I don't know if you can see it, it's way it looks on my viewer there of course the viewer's not at the optimal angle oh that one went right in you see you get the eraser in there and push it down you got to be careful so you don't break these plants so you know the stems break pretty easy they're pretty tender at this time and now They're not too leggy. This is, this will take a little longer than the onions, uh, but uh, I'm not like I say I'm not planting as many six packs. I'm only planting uh, ten six packs. I don't know how many onions I planted. Oh, it might be about as much. I don't know. Well, it was ninety six plants. I don't think it's going to be that many. See, that's a nice one. Nice long root. 
That's what you want, you know. You want to get a plant with a nice root system on it, good foliage, nice uh, thick stem, and plant it in. And you get the prime plants here. You get the best plants out of out of the pot. And the other ones, you know, like I say, I'm not going to be able to use them, but they won't go to waste. They'll end up in the compost there. But um, and, you know that, that's. That's the uh, that's what you got to do to get the to get the best. That way, your plants will be good and strong once they get out into the garden. I might have to transplant these into another container before I get them out in the garden. I don't know. It depends how they grow. I'm trying to find another nice one here. That's another nice one. Nice thick stem on it. A little crooked, but uh, that'll straighten out. That just, I guess that happens because of the way it's growing inside the uh, pot. But she'll straighten out once I get her get her planted in there. Here's the, here's the wildcat back in the ground. Background. She uh, she don't like it out in the cold. She's down here acting like a fool. Yeah, I don't mind doing this. This is uh, a little therapy after work and after a long day at work. You can do this and relax. You know, I'll, after I get done making the video here, I'll turn the TV on, turn the heater on. Oh, there's a beauty there. And uh, I'll sit back and I'll do this for a little while. And nothing wrong with that, you know. You get your gardening fix in the wintertime, too. And it's by growing your own plants. Yes, but, uh, I think it's the right thing to do there, to grow your own plants. There you get, you get a, such a bigger variety to pick from when you buy your own seed and grow it yourself and plus you know exactly what that plant has gone through from s sowing the seed till it gets out in your garden there you know some plants you buy at the uh, nursery or or any other place you can bu you buy them at you don't you don't know what that plant has gone through if, if it's had uh you know a chemical fertilizer or, or what you know so it, it, I think it's better this way. You know, you know exactly what the plant has gone through from seed, sowing the seed at to when you get it out in the garden. That way you don't have no doubts of what, or what that plant's been through, how it's been grown. And that's the last one. Get it all firmed in there nicely. Yeah, the grow room's getting uh getting getting some uh grow time in there. It's getting starting to get filled up. Well, that's uh that's the six pack there. That's the uh, Coronado broccoli I just did first. Now I'm gonna stick it in the old. Dollar store aluminum tray there. Put some uh, liquid seaweed in there. Use that for transplanting too. That helps with uh, any shock. Gets the uh, plant started off nice. You know, liquid seaweed. You know, you might look at the price and say, "That man, that's expensive." But hey, yeah, you get a lot. You, you buy a gallon of it, it'll last you a long time. Now this is the. Uh, this is the concentrate I made up. I got a a dry, a dry liquid seaweed, and you, you uh, mix it with the water. This gallon here, you put uh, four tablespoons, four tablespoons to one gallon of water. 
and you get a whole gallon of uh, liquid seaweed. That, see, I've taken uh, probably uh, eight tablespoons out of this. I've done it twice already. This 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 will last me forever. And, this, and, that, and that dried stuff I bought, I, I got it a couple years ago. It cost me probably about five bucks for a pack of it. So it's it, the pack makes one gallon, one gallon of concentrate. So you're gonna get a lot for your money there. Believe me, it's well worth it there. It'll last you a long time and it's and it works very good. But uh that's it to plant in the uh brassicas there. I got a bunch more to plant of course I won't show you all that though we'll be going on for hours. Yeah I'll give you a little update uh what's growing in the grow room so far there. This is the uh, onions I transplanted the other day. They're looks like they're coming along fine. As you can see, there's the uh, peppers, sweet peppers, hot peppers. As they, as usual, they're growing very slowly, sporadically. I had to replant a few of them. Looking all right. They'll take off. And there's some uh, all four varieties of onions that I planted. I just put some in some pots just for just in case. You know, some of them uh, die off in the six packs. I'll have a couple spares to put in there. But uh, yeah, that's all the pepper so far. I got some germinating in the oven right now. Hopefully uh, I'll get most of what I planted there. Of course, I, I don't think all of them will germinate. But uh, that's uh, that's the old update. That's it. That's all it is uh, to transplant them baskets into six packs. There, you can see over here. I got all these to do. That's uh nine more six packs to plant. There, like I said, I enjoy doing this. It's relaxing. You know, something to do it after I get off of work. There, uh, I got. I, I still got that. Uh, uh, seed giveaway going. If anybody else wants any of that seed, I'm going to uh, run it till the 10th of uh, February. And if any, anybody wants any of them uh, pepper, any of the pepper seeds I have, or I have you know some tobacco seeds too, you know, PM me and let me know. I you know still have some to give away. I'll be more than happy to give to give you some. Here, just send a self-addressed stamp a bubble envelope you know I had a lot of takers so far uh, I have one somebody sent me uh, they didn't put their YouTube handle on it so I don't know what seed they get there uh, it's a gentleman named uh, Victor from Anaheim California hey Victor if you're watching you know this is the return envelope PM me with your uh, YouTube handle so I can get you to see. Well, that's it for today's installment of the Vic Victory Garden. <laughs> the Garden Pit. Oh, my. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I sure appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I guess uh, my next video I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uh, planting lettuce seeds this weekend. So uh, I'll be doing a video for that. So uh, y'all take it easy. Keep it growing out there. See ya.